Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. It's time for my six year update on the Manfrotto 055 tripod with the X Pro ball head. This thing has been quite amazing, and I have put almost a thousand videos in with this thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at its features real quick, and then I'll tell you the things I like and don't like after six years of use. Right off the bat, I want to just say this thing is worth the money. After six years of some pretty heavy use, I think this thing was well worth the, I think, 300 and something dollars I paid for. So let's start from the bottom. It's got some rubber feet on here to help this thing from uh, sliding around. It's got a three pole design. So one here, there's one up in here, and then the top pole right here. It's got the Manfrotto 055 made in Italy written on there. So on each leg, you've got this lever right here, which can be pulled up or down, and that will allow you to uh, go from, so for instance right here, that's the normal width of the legs, but you can pull this handle down right here, and it will extend out further. So you could actually have this thing almost flat, but uh, most of the time I just keep it right here on this position. So each one of those can do that. Now you do have the option to attach some things in here and there's a, a 3 8 thread right there. Um, to be honest, I've never used that. And with this one over here, all I ever do with this is uh, when I'm filming, I stick my sunglasses down in there. Probably not its intended use. Uh, so two of the legs have rubberized grip on them. And I can't tell you how many times I have used this either because I've left it out in the sun and it's cooler or if it's the middle of winter and it's five degrees out, this right here is dreadfully cold and so I grab that. So absolutely wonderful idea to have these rubberized grips on there. To be honest, I'd probably have enjoyed it even on that one, but uh, I'll get to uh, the weight of this thing in a moment. Uh, so moving up here, the other features it's got, oh yeah, so each of the clips here can be adjusted and tightened if they get loose. And the same with up here as well. If you turn this little knob here, the whole center shaft can be uh, raised up and you can adjust the height there and lock it down. That's worked really well. And then this is the uh, 90 degree column, which means if you loosen this up even more, there's a push button up under here that releases that little tab and you can snap this up and turn it off to a 90. So you can slide that in there and then turn this around. And I have used that feature so many times as well. You lock this down here. Uh, one thing you have to watch out for is if your camera is too heavy, it'll tip it. So you often have to adjust it so that the leg is in a place like that right there. That way it won't uh, flip over. So that's been very nice as well. It's got a level up here uh, on this little swivel and then it has the uh, 3 8 uh, thread on top of the tripod. So let me get this back into regular position and I'll discuss the things that I don't care much about this thing. Now for the X-Pro ball head, I bought this about the same time that I got the tripod itself and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It has a, uh, a lower knob here, which you can actually pull out and adjust the position. So if it was in the way of this thing, you could pull that out, move it over and get to it like that. It has little graduated uh, markings down here. So you can see, uh, where's the arrow on there? I forget, oh, it's really tiny right in there. But anyway, it can show you where your uh, position is there on that, uh, uh, 360. It's got the Manfrotto logo right there. And then over here is your main adjustment. So whenever you loosen this, it will allow you to adjust the ball around. You can do a 90 over there or up here. And then if you move over here to this other side, this is a plus and minus knob. So if you loosen this up, but tighten this, it's going to be real slow and hard to move around. If you loosen that, uh, it's real fluid and easy to move. So I keep it somewhere in the middle. All right, moving up here, you can see there are two bubble levels, one down here that's not faded, and this one up here that is 
quite faded because I've had this in the sun a lot. And then if you hold down this back tab, you can move that out and it'll lock that open and you can remove the plate up here. All right, and when you push that back down, it locks it into place. Okay, that's just an overview of this tripod with ball head. Let's talk about the negatives that I've uh, come across over the past six years. Okay, let's talk about some negatives here. Let's start with the tripod first. So the legs, if you have your uh, fulcrum point of this clasp right here, so it snaps it open so you can adjust the height. If you grab this thing and have a finger back here, it is gonna just smush it. I have done that so many times and it just, it hurts. Um, Cause you got all that force over here and it just smushes it on that side. So definitely be careful with that. It will pinch you and uh, it'll hurt. Um, so as far as height goes, this thing is super tall and doesn't bother me at all. But a couple of times I've gone to uh, basically let the legs out and I uh, had the leg just shoot on out. So you have to make sure these are tight enough that it's not going to just uh, go flying out of there. Um, it's a pretty simple thing to do though. Uh, there is a hole up under here, which allows you to um, have air go into this leg as you're letting this out. And a few times I've held that spot right there by mistake, like grab right there and then let the leg out and it will kind of slowly just fall out. So um, that can be helpful or annoying depending on how you see it. Um, so as far as up here goes, one of these legs, let's see, not that one. Yeah, that one, it gets kind of loose. So you just have to tighten things up a bit occasionally, um, but it's not really an issue. Typically the legs stay pretty well tight. Now, uh, moving up here to this, it has gotten in the way so many times. Um, it swivels around, but when you go to move like this handle here, you know, it just, it gets in the way. So I'm constantly having to swivel, uh, swing this to the other side to access that. So to be honest, uh, with this level up here, there's not really much need for that level in my setup. Now, of course that's on the ball head. So uh, if you don't have this particular ball head, you would need that level, um, but it gets in the way. Uh, let's see. So as far as the center column goes, I've actually had a bit of a struggle with that at times. The uh, notch over here on this side is the only way that it can go back down. And so sometimes I find myself just spinning and spinning, trying to find that spot. So let me, so as soon as you move this, see how that moves away from the notch. Sometimes you're like, uh, where is it? And then when you find it, if this knob isn't loose enough, it's gonna be a hassle to get back down in there. Okay, um, besides all of those things, the tripod has worked fantastic. Now I will say it's well built, but it's heavy. So if you're gonna carry this thing for very long, uh, it's so heavy, um, but that's what you pay for, that high quality. Now moving up here to the ball head, the only issue I've had is that this, um, I guess, washer in here has kind of yeah, worn away or gotten loose. And uh, so this kind of moves around and uh, you can see the washer right there has stepped out of its place and it won't tighten down until you take a finger and push that back in and it's flat. So anyway, uh, that's the only thing that has happened with this ball head that I don't like. I just wanted to do a quick video update on the Manfrotto 055 tripod with the ball head. This is the single most used piece of gear that I have over the past six years. I'm probably with this thing three days a week, uh, every week. So I have put it through a lot of good use. So my thoughts on it, 100% worth the uh, 300 plus dollars you're going to spend on this. At least that's what it was six years ago when I bought it. Um, so if you're looking to purchase the Manfrotto, definitely go for it. It's going to last you a very long time. Well, I'll also link this in the description down below if you want to learn more about it. But just wanted to give you an update uh, and my thoughts on this. The uh, cons are uh, few and not that big of a deal based on the, uh, the pros that you get with this tripod. 
I'm Seth with Land the House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.